Welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. Today I want to take a little bit of time and uh, show you some options we have for levels and grids. Uh, I've seen this come up with some of our clients and students where they're not familiar with the little icon underneath the levels for 2D versus 3D. Uh, and then continuing that, that concept is also an option of what's called propagate extent. So I just want to take a few minutes here to explain to you what those do and how you could best use them. So let's go ahead and switch over to Revit and we'll show you what's, uh, how these work. All right, so you can see we're back in Revit here now. And uh, again, I, I just got a simple little model here to show you the concepts of, of working with levels. And uh, what I want to do is show you, if we go to our south elevation, I've already got levels in place with a simple little building. And I think we're all aware that we can pick on a level and go ahead and drag the levels out back and forth. Uh, and then of course, we can disconnect it and have individual control. Now, when we do that, we pull this far out. Uh, away from the original location, and then we go to the opposite elevation, in this case north, you'll see that it's propagated or it's gone to that uh, distance away from the building as well. That's all fine and good, but oftentimes we don't want that, especially if we have a, you know, a building or an elevation that has geometry in place uh, that's closer to one side or we have some type of balcony or condition, we don't want to see that. So what we can do is when we unlock this, that's what this 3D button right here does, or this option for 3D. If we click on that 3D, it switches to 2D, and now you'll see when I drag this out, I'm dragging it out in this view only, and if I go to the opposite view, which is north, you see it does not affect the level line on this side. So that's simply what they mean by the option of 3D versus 2D. If it's set to 2D, the changes to the level line in terms of its length only affects this view. Now, I can reverse this or get it back to normal and you cannot pick the 3D icon or what is now the 2D icon, you cannot click it to make it go back to 3D. And The reason for that because it's not, for want of a better term, it's not synced up with where the other level line is. So you have to drag it back to the original location and then it automatically switches back over to 3D. So be aware that 2D versus 3D allows you to make differences uh, or, or change the, the length of the level. Uh, line in one view uh, and not affect the other view out there. Now to some extent that's also true with our grids in the fact that grids and levels work very similarly to each other and that we can of course grab our grid and do the same thing. We can unlock it and take our 2D versus our 3D and then when we uh, do that 2D versus 3D we'll be able to uh, change it in the same manner. Now from here we also have the ability to if we do pull this up, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it up to here, I'm sorry, I'm going to unlock it first, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. So what we have available to us here is, again, the same way we can go 2D, 3D, but we also have this option up here, which is called Propagate Extents. I haven't done it yet, but you'll see if I go to my second level, I can see that the grid has moved up because it's 3D oriented. Uh, but what if I go back to the first level? Let's bring this back down again and adjust it in that regard, you know, let's switch it back off to 2D and make a change. Obviously it's not going to come up here to level 2, I've already shown you that. But what we do have an option, maybe the design changes a little bit later on, and we do want it out there. So we have this option up here that says Propagate Extents. It's a very valuable tool because it allows us to, to take the same changes we made or make the changes we've done in this view and propagate them to other views. So if I propagate extents, it actually goes so far as well, how would you like these changes to be distributed? Do you want them to go to all the views or just a couple of views? Uh, just for sake of selecting them, I can say I want to have the changes to that grid. I want to occur for both level two and the site view. Now nothing happens in this view, of course, but if I now go up to level two, it's taken those uh, changes, those edits to that grid, and propagated them or made them available or you know applied them to this view. And then of course from here on it's the same way we can go ahead and switch back to 2D versus 3D. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you. Again, it's a quick, simple uh, option to work with. We've I've had quite a few students and clients in the last uh, couple of years that are never quite sure about what that's all about. So again, switching between 2D and versus 3D and then making those changes to multiple views is what the Propagate Extents allows you to do. So hopefully that'll help you out, uh, help you out with your workflows, and uh, we'll see, uh, see you on the next time. So hopefully this 4-Minute Friday helped you out, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.